Hey guys, what's up? I'm Peter from Ely River Games. Welcome to a new video on Hero, the emergency room board game. So the last time we had a look at the resources and before that on the components of the game. But what's all that for if you don't know how to set up the game? So this will be the topic of today's game. We'll have a look at the game board and how to set up so that you're ready to play. Let's go! Yeah, so basically that's it. That's the board of Hero. Um, you see some different rooms, you can see them all aligned with those green uh, borders to the rooms. But we want to start on the top. On the top, there's the little timer track. So you see there's um, from hours 1 to 12. And um, yeah, simple enough, you just place a timer token by the start of the game onto the 12. Or if you want to play a short night shift onto hour number 8 um, and count down towards the end. Um, that's basically, the countdown is basically because there will um, progressively um, appear new patients. So from hour 12 to 9, the first four hours, there will appear one per hour. From 8 to 5, two new patients per hour. And from 4 to 1, there's one new patient per hour. Uh, so the progressive, um, uh, so the countdown, sorry, the countdown, uh, we figured is making it a bit more simple to keep track on how many patients there are especially when you play a short night shift where you just place it and start at the eight hour mark. Yeah, right below that you can see uh, this, the, the pile for the patient cards. Um, you can just shuffle them and put it on the field of patients. And um, yeah, most important next to it, the heart of the game, the emergency room. Um, you can see with those little shadows, there's 10 free beds, so you can um, yeah, there's space for 10 patients. And whenever there's a patient showing up and all bets are taken, you have to reject the patient. So he will be leaving the emergency room before entering it. Um, and all the, pay, all, the, all the doctors, all the players um, will get the chaos that's um, stated on the patient card. So um, yeah, well, how, how that's working and how the, the whole point system is working out uh, will be topic of another video. On the left of the of the emergency room, you can see the operation room. Um, some patients just require surgery, so you have to take them to this room. But you will get plus one on your surgical still a skill for that. Um, so like a broken leg would be required to do um, at the operation room because you can just um, operate on on the in the emergency room or on the hallway. And on the right side, you can see the intensive care unit. Um, yeah, same again. Some patients, I mean, all the guys will know, uh, man flu, for example, is definitely um, a patient that can only be treated in an intensive care unit. So you have to take the patients there. Um, how you can transport the patients to those rooms, of course, will be topic of another video. Um, but if you take the patients there, you will get plus one on your knowledge of internal medicine. Yeah, right down below of the emergency room, there's the hallway. Um, this is where you start your game, where all the doctors start um, and where all the staff members will appear. Um, yeah, and when staff members will appear and how many and in which part of the game, this will be topic of another video. But otherwise, the hallway has no function at all. It's just a room that you have to pass to get to the emergency room. On the left of the hallway, there's a call room. And you already guessed it by the bed <laughs> image uh, here. Um, this is where you sleep. So in the call room, you can spend an action um, and get those most or the, those highly needed pillow tokens. So your much needed sleep in. Um, how you spend actions to sleep? Yes, you guessed it right. This will be topic of another video. And finally, on the right hand side of, um, of the hallway, there's the library. So this is where you study, you spend an action, you take a journal, you improve your skill. This is what we already saw in the last video. Now on top of the library, you see there's a pile of consultants. So you can just put them on the consultant spot. Um, and there's no need to shuffle because you can cho uh, choose them freely um, during the game. And on the other side of the hallway, there's the pile for the staff members. So you can just give them a good shuffle, place them on um, this spot um, and then whenever um, the game progresses you will get new staff members. 
And there's also the hospital staff track. So you see uh, there's um, this, this fields for three hours to go, two hours to go and one hour to go. So every staff member, once uh, he or she appears, will be um, to your disposal for three hours and then they will end their shift. So yeah, here you can see the, the hero cards. You can just place them next to the board um, and give every player the one that he's playing as. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> recommended, but you all do that um, to put all the tokens into bowls to have easy access. And of course, to put the standees next to the board um, to find them a bit more quickly. So that's it. It's all set up and we are ready to go play some Hero, the emergency room board game. So of course, for the next video, we will be having a closer look at the actions you can perform and how to play the game. I'm happy if I can see you in the next video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to our channel, hit the notification bell and I'm happy if I see you then.